Hello and welcome to our November Canvas report. I'm Shannon and this is Jared. And we are here to keep you updated on all of the new things that are coming out with Canvas. So this month, thanks to CARES funding, we have been able to purchase templates that are available for every teacher in the state to use. So each template comes with a unique theme and already has a homepage built. It has editable graphics that you can use to customize your course and make it look great. I, I think for me, I love using templates to help me to organize the content on my course and make it look really polished. Uh, Jared, what about you? Yeah, templates can be great for consistency. And like you said, I think it's great for organization. And I know that it really helps students out to have the same look and feel throughout the course. I agree, Jared. There are there really are so many good reasons to be using templates. So. Jared, why don't you take a second to show us where we can find these templates? All right, well, we're gonna hop into Commons by clicking the Commons icon. And then once in Commons, we'll need to use the filter to find these templates. So in the filter, you're gonna select the template and UEN K through 12 options. Now you can see all 40 of the templates that are available. So Shannon, you've had a little bit of time to look through these. Have you found any of these templates that you like? Absolutely. I I have more of an elementary background, and so I was really excited to see that there are a lot of themes that are specific to elementary, not only in their design, but in what they provide you, in the way the modules are set up, and, and what the home pages look like. Um, one that I want to show you really quickly was a really fun one. It's called Primary Monthly Superheroes. Um, we all love superheroes, right? Uh, but I love the graphics pack, It's uh, or the icon pack, I should say. There are some template icons that have um, just some great icons to help with organization. They can go along with headers of different sections. They have template stickers that have um, that you can embed through, from the rich content editor. You don't have to upload an image like you would normally have to. So that makes it super easy to get these um, cute graphics onto your page. There are a couple of different home pages that they already have set up for you that you can take a look at. And then they have banners and um, other buttons that are editable by you. Um, so overall, this is, and, and this is a pretty fair representation of almost, of any of the elementary templates, that there are great graphics. There's excellent home pages, not always two to choose from, but still great home pages, a great place for you to start in organizing your content and building your course. Now, Jared, what about you? What have you found looking through all the templates that are available? Yeah, I, I appreciate that you showed us one of the elementary ones, and I'll just state that the secondary ones are very similar to this. One thing I noticed with the titles for the templates is that there was um, some of the secondary ones were set up weekly, unit, modern, class of act, abstract. So by looking at the title, that kind of let you know how it was going to be set up. But there's really two things that I look for in, in the templates when I open them up and one of them was the image options page. And like you mentioned, that's where like the icon pack was and the, the buttons and the course banner and things like that. And I, I'm not really worried um, or concerned about how the, you know, what images Canvas chose because I can change those. I'm just looking, do I like the design? And if I like the design, then, you know, I'll use the template. And then the other thing I look at is just how they laid out the uh, course for students. And so those are the two things that I look at, how the course is laid out and the image options that are available in the template. Now, one thing that I think is important to remember, a lot of your districts already have provided templates for you. So we're certainly not suggesting that you now ignore what they provided and doing your own thing. Still use what your district has provided for you. But if you see something in those templates that you would like to use in your course, maybe it's even just an icon pack that you think I'd love to use those icons. You can still use 
anything from those templates within your course to organize and customize a little bit more. In the links below, there is a PDT, PDTV episode that Jared has filmed that is just on template customization and making it work for you, whether you are starting from scratch or whether you're already working with a module and content that you've been working with this whole school year thus far. All right, well, thanks for joining us for this template edition of the Canvas Report. Remember, templates are helpful for you to keep your courses organized with a consistent design. They are helpful for students because they maintain that same look and feel throughout the course. Remember, when you go to Commons to select the filter, then Templates, then UENK through 12. That's where all of the templates will be for now. In the future, they're gonna be moved to your school or district's account page, but for now you can access them here. Find one that you like, personalize and customize it the way that you want to. And you know, this month we decided to focus on just templates and hopefully this will be a nice jumping off point for you so that you can dive in and get started with templates. See you next month.